This is huge that we're already expanding internationally. Our plan to take it to Triple H and WWE is working faster than expected. See? You just needed to trust me. Study up on some Lucha Libre footage. As you know, it's a completely different style. And if you accidentally drink the water there, make sure you wear brown tights. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. Just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know, I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here, I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations, you know. That wasn't a hallucination. All right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. Boz ha ganado todas sus luchas, pero el mago tiene sus trucos. Lucharán.
Vos tiene el recurso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. Primera lucha de voz en México y será la última si gana el mago. Esta lucha ha sido increíble, como nos dijo Baron Blade toda la semana pasada. A mí no me parece que vos tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Los dos luchadores a punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? Lo siento, el mago, pero el que se lleva una máscara se parece al enemigo a Baus. ¡Qué noche hermosa! Hace buen tiempo mientras estamos afuera. Tal vez el mago lo controla. Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, Buzz, y buena suerte. Muy impresionante la lucha libre de Buzz. Tal vez hizo su tarea. Ahorita Buzz no parece cansado. Tal vez tenía un buen viaje. Solamente lo mejor por los hombres de Baron Blade. Buzz tiene el impulso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. A mí no me parece que vos tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Su primera lucha de Vals en México. Y será la última si gana el mago. Muy impresionante la lucha libre de vos. Tal vez hizo su tarea.
Los dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? Vos ha ganado todas sus luchas, pero el mago tiene sus trucos. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. ¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo! Now do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento, soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? No, he's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. Oh, gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? Not tonight, buddy. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was still great up until the end. Any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. You mean... Ducha. <laughs> I looked it up. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we gonna have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does.
From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. It's like Buzz can't get away from what happened. I mean, he had a match in Mexico versus El Mago, which mm -hmm. was a great match, but then out comes some idiot wearing the same mask as the <laughs> fan who attacked him outside the WWE arena. And the match is ruined. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't see the match, but this, 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 this kind of stuff happens. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, it's especially in places like Mexico, where the audience is very passionate uh, about wrestling. Okay, I guess. You know, I, I once had a fan in Mexico sneak into my hotel room disguised as a room service guy. What? Uh, wow. Yeah. That's <laughs> insane. Like, did you tip him? Yeah, I, I tipped him right over the balcony. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know, you don't sneak into a wrestler's hotel rooms, people. Bad idea. Very, uh, very bad. Some <laughs> solid advice, Hood. Uh, by the way, did you see BCW is running their next streaming pay-per-view from the same venue that was once home to Monday Night Raw? Uh, That's a big step up from high school parking lots. Yeah, that sure it is. You know, it, it is. And, and, and let's be real. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a shot across WWE's bow, yeah. you know. It's, it's, no, it's, it's no coincidence that BCW's running this venue, you feel me? Mm. They're, 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 they're doing it to send a message to WWE. Well, what do you think that message is? You'd have to ask them. Uh -huh. but, but I think, at the very least, it's saying, hey, look at us. We, not, we might not be in the same ballpark as you yet, but we're in the tailgating, we're tailgating in the parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> well, it's certainly going to bring BCW to a whole new level, especially with the rumors swirling about the big rematch between Buzz and Cole Quinn. Hey, they better be careful, though, you know, because they might be biting off more than they can, they, 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 they can chew. You know, sometimes it's easier being the, the mean little guy flying under the radar. Now they're in the spotlight, and they, they, they've rattled the big dog's chain. I think you just set a record for the number of cliches in one speech. Hey, I'm just calling it like I see it, man. <laughs> another one. Does this studio have a balcony, what? man? Because I'm, I'm about tired of you, man. <laughs> I think you might need the, the Mexican room service guide treatment. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. Well, thankfully for me, there is no balcony here that I know of. Uh, maybe we should take a quick break to cool things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me give me some more tea, man. Give me some, some lemonade. You know, I, I think, that's a, I think that, that's a good idea right now. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> 90 proof tea, please, right here. <laughs> Thirsty. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> yes, Baron. 
Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the U.S. Really? <laughs> yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Yes, that's the one. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently? Shut it down? Damn it! Triple H, it had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seeing it. No, I don't want to stop the match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! In honor of tonight's Scrap Trap match, all fans in the first three rows were given free tetanus shots. some issues with our pay-per-view stream it might even be down completely if anyone can still hear this we apologize and we're trying to find out what's going on
the fact that we're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides, and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. These two are now international stars. Having recently wrestled in Japan and Mexico, BCW is truly becoming a phenomenon around the mundo. I picked up a little Spanish down in Mexico. The fact that we're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. We call this the Scrap Trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rhymes. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. <laughs> Did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, 
And now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by... Selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Cole. You got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. Oh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you.